Hello there guys, welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 2 Complete Le Blonde. This will be part 3. Uh, we fought our first liquor last time. Oh hey, some some good items this time. Woot. Uh, green herb, thank you. I will take green herb. And I will take green herb number 2. Thank you. I know you can kind of combine herbs, I think. So, I'm not sure if this will work. No. Maybe. Ooh, it does. I have no idea what that really does. There's a door here. Wash inside. Wash inside. Ooh, nice music. Nothing dangerous, I assume. What's this? Oh, another operation report. September 28th. Early morning, 2.30 a.m. Zombies overran the operation room. Another battle broke out. Again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we lost four more people, including David. Oh no, the recorder from last time, but he was so good at repeating stuff. We're down to four people, including myself, whoever you are. We failed to secure the weapon cache and hope for our survival. Good luck with that. Oh, it continues to diminish. Okay, well, <laughs> apparently you got it, the gyps of it. It won't last much longer. We agree upon a plan to escape through the sewer. There's a path leading from here, underground, sewage disposal plant. That sounds dangerous and disgusting. We should be able to access the sewers through there. The only drawback is that there is no guarantee. The sewage disposal plant is free of any possible dangers. It probably has liquors in it, which is gross. Ugh. We know that our chance in the sewers are slim, but any uh, it's better than anything, I suppose. In order to buy more time, we locked the only door leading to the underground, which is located near the eastern office. Put the key behind the western office, since it's unlikely that any of those creatures have the intelligence to find and unlock the door. I pray this operation report will be helpful to whoever may find it. Uh, Elliot Edward. Why, thank you. I will file that, just in case it proves useful. Um, let's see. I'm gonna put this away for now. Keep the shotgun just in case. It's always good to have extra shotgun with you. Oh, there's a typewriter here. There's more ink. Yes. I just, I just stopped, so I'm gonna... I'll, I'll worry about saving later. Put that there. Let's see. Is this a door right here? That's a doorway. What's this? Nothing? Okay. I can develop film here. Well, I don't really have any film to develop right now. I did, I did fail that photography, photography class. Is there anything else over here? Nope. This is where they develop film. It's locked. A special kind of key is required. Like my fist. Uh, anything else in here? No. Ooh, hang on bolts. Sweet. I guess there's nothing else in here, but I gotta remember that I can develop film there. I will try to remember that. I'm gonna check the rest of this hallway before I really move on. There's a door here. It's locked. A diamond is etched under the keyhole. Well, the diamond's pretty hard to find. Especially around these parts. And up we go. Douche. Douche. More stairs. Uh, let's see. Do do do. Anything in here? Knob turns, but the door won't, won't budge. It seems to be sealed from the other side. Well, that was pointless. Completely. Let's see here. Uh, looks like these things are movable. At least I can interact with them. Let's see what's this. Something's written on the mounting. 
God of the sun and the God of the moon. Their gaze upon me is the only thing that can release the red soul. Are you kidding me? Puzzle time. All right, let's see. How do I move these things? Oh, I just run into them. Oh, I hope this isn't too complicated. It seems pretty simple. If I can get the controls to work, that is. It'd be nice if we made the ridiculous sounds like Lara Croft. That'd be amazing. Okay, let's see. That should be good enough for this one. Let's push it into place. Push it into place. Move like a cow, Leon. There, that, sh that should be good for... I believe that's the sun. Then we'll move Mr. Moon over here. That should be good. Push, no, push. I push. There we go. Um, that looks pretty good to me. Am I missing something? Am I missing something? I, I, that looks pretty good to me. Their gaze upon me is the only thing that can release the red soul. Do I need to push it closer? I can try that. No. It's, uh, got a stump here. Pretty sure that both of their gazes are directly on you. Come on. Okay. I have no idea. This is obviously not working. Okay, what can I do then? If it's not gonna work. See, that looks pretty even to me. This one's sticking out a little bit. Leon would stop running into the air. I I have no idea. I'll come back to that. I have, I have no idea why that thing isn't working. Oh, yeah, you gave me. Oh my gosh. That's okay, we need some zombies in this part. Haha. Oh my gosh. Don't make me show you my awesome sharpshooter skills. Let's see. Reload. Did I miss anything because of that? Nope. Let's try to go through this door. Pachoo, pachoo. What's this room? Uh, nothing suspicious nor out of the ordinary. You say that about a lot of things, Leon. Looks like there's some stuff in here. There are various trophies. One of them reads, Marksman Contest Winner Chris Redfield. Of course he won a contest. No, I just read that. Okay. Is there anything on this green board right here? Nope. 
Ooh, something. Yes, I will. Thank you. It's trashed. Someone must have searched the desk. Or the zombie could have, you know, come and messed everything up. There isn't anything useful on the shelf. Prove it. You're not even gonna make a comment about the stars thing? Okay. There isn't. Okay. But there's a flag right there. We can use that to increase our morale. I, I have no idea. Let's, let's read this. Chris's diary. Ooh. Secrets galore. August 8th. I talked to the chief today once again. But he refused to listen to me. That jerk. I know for certain that Umbrella con uh, conducted T-virus research in the mansion. Anyone infected turns into a zombie. Which is obviously the goal of the T-virus, right? But the entire mansion went up in that explosion, along with any uh, incriminating evidence. Well, wasn't that kind of your fault? Since Umbrella employee, uh, employs so many people in that town, no one is willing to talk about the incident. Looks like I'm running out of options. August 17th, we've been receiving a lot of local reports about strange monsters appearing randomly throughout the city. This must be the work of Umbrella, because it couldn't be anything else. August 24th, with the help of Jill and Barry, I finally obtained the information vital to this case. Umbrella has begun to research the new G-Virus. Ooh, they, they, used t they picked a different letter of the alphabet this time. Variation of the original T-Virus. Haven't they done enough damage already? Why don't you ask them that? We talked it over and had decided to fly to the main Umbrella headquarters in Europe. I won't tell my sister about this trip because doing so could put her in danger. Please forgive me, Claire. Oh, there was nothing juicy in that diary. There's something else here. I will take the unicorn medal. Hey! Uh, I got the unicorn thing. Ooh, cutscene. Leon! Barry! It's good to see you're still among the living. <laughs> Not the dead. It looks like we're not gonna find your brother here after all. He's in a better place. Europe. I, I don't know, can Claire read? There's no reason for us to stay any longer than necessary. Let's split up, look for any survivors, and get out of here. After I wave my hands around a little bit. Right. One last thing. Here's a radio. Take it. Oh. That way we can keep in touch if anything happens. And we can prank call each other. Anything else to say? I can't believe what is happening to this city. I, I also appear to be in pain, Claire. Do you have any uh, meds or something? No? Okay. You're no help then. It looks like a med thing. I will take the spray. Mix up for that liquor incident. I keep saying liquor like the, the alcohol. Uh, this must be where they gathered information. On what? Ooh! I, oh. Uh, okay. I guess I have two shotguns now. Can I dual wield them? Freaking epic. You know, Claire, I kind of told you to split up, so get out of here. I can't believe what is happening to this city. Okay, don't get out of here then, whatever. Look for those survivors. I saw another book over here. Maybe it was on the other side. There it is. Jill's notes. Ooh. Oh, it's not a diary, though. It's not as cool. It already began as an ordinary day in September, an ordinary day in St. Raccoon City, a city controlled by Umbrella. No one has, no one dared to oppose them. That and the lack of strength would ultimately lead to their destruction. You're such a poet, Jill. 
Suppose they had to suffer the consequence of their actions, but there would be no forgiveness. If only they had the courage to fight. But it's true that once the wheels of justice begin to turn, nothing can stop them. Nice metaphor. Nothing. It was Raccoon City's last chance, and my last chance, my last escape. You are such a poet, Jill. Like, why are you fighting zombies? You could be working with, um... I, I don't know who are famous poets nowadays. Like... Like that tofu guy? Or maybe Ronald McDonald, I'm pretty sure that when he's not stalking people, he writes poetry. Let's see, I, it's locked. Gonna need a shovel for that. Okay, well, looks like I'm running on my 15 minute limit anyways. So I'm, I'm gonna give that puzzle one last chance and then I'm gonna call it a bid. Yo. This creepy music. Oh, well, oh, thank you for all putting back yourselves to where you were. Thanks. Give us one more chance. I I really hope it works because I this thing's making the, me sick as heck. Wait, can I get? Over here. Okay. Mm. Get over there, Mr. Sun. Oh, oh, oh I, I think I see it. I, I see the little edge mark on the floor. I think that's what I was missing. Let's try setting it this here. There, there, I heard a, I heard a sound. That was some ridiculousness. They only work when you face each other, huh? Well, it, it, I faced them quite close to each other, looking straight at the guy. But no, you just had to be special. This thing is really hard to see on the floor. <laughs> Push. No. Back over there. Push. <sighs> this thing is so touchy. Thank you. Finally. I want the bloodstone. Give me the bloodstone. Can't get. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Can I combine the shotguns? No. Well, that sucks. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm gonna need to eat this anyways. Alright, now, now I can take the red jewel. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna head back downstairs and uh, save my game. And then that's where I'm gonna call it quits, I think, for today. There's no more zombies down here. down the black hallway. So let's we met Claire today. We uh, got the unicorn medallion. We read Chris's journal, which didn't have anything juicy in it at all. Uh, we fought a couple of zombies, not too many this time. And I'm going to need to put something in here. Because I'll put the normal shotgun in there and maybe one of these. I'm gonna keep everything else for now. Ink ribbon. Let's make a save. It's an old typewriter, you can save progress, yep. I will use the ink ribbon. Let's... I'm gonna save it in a different file, just in case. dark room. Alright, that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you next time.